Are you causing your child with ADHD to ruminate on negative thoughts or on anxious thoughts? You might unintentionally be, and let me explain why. It's very easy for the ADHD brain to get stuck on things and have difficulty moving on. This has to do with cognitive flexibility, which is an aspect of executive functioning that is very rarely talked about. So if your child has a propensity to get stuck on things and has difficulty moving on, well, I want you to take into consideration that the more we talk about negative feelings or the more we talk about negative experiences, the more likely they are to ruminate on them and to get stuck on them. And in many cases, that can create more anxiety and it could make them feel even worse. You know, one of the things I always say is that over the past 30 years, I believe the child psychology field has taught parents to play what I call armchair therapist. What I mean by armchair therapist is a lot of parents have been led to believe that it is their job to constantly be talking about feelings and processing emotions with their kids and asking questions like, how did that make you feel? Obviously, we all want our kids to be emotionally articulate. We all want our kids to be able to express how they feel. However, when we constantly respond to our kids' negative expression of emotions with our undivided attention and with giving them reassurance or processing of feelings, it sends them the message that the more you talk about negativity, the more you're going to have my attention. And also, maybe there's great validity into this temporary feeling because look how much attention an adult who cares about me is giving to this. One of the things that I always teach kids is that all feelings are temporary. We're not happy forever, we're not sad forever, we're not angry forever. And often I think parents lose sight of the fact that we have to teach kids that emotions come and go. We all want our kids to be emotionally articulate. We all want our kids to express themselves, but giving them constant attention for negative expression of emotions, that's not necessarily going to help them or make them feel better. And in many cases, it actually makes them feel worse. I wanna share something that's not too well known to most people. You know, there's this idea that when people actually have trauma, and I'm not talking about temporary discomfort, I'm talking about serious trauma, that somehow them constantly talking about it is going to make them feel better. Well, actually, when people are led into constantly talking about trauma, it actually makes them feel worse, and it can re-trigger that same emotions that happen during the traumatic experience. Definitely acknowledge your child's feelings. Ask them, is that something you want to talk about? If they don't, let it go. Avoid playing armchair therapist where you're constantly asking, how did that make you feel? Or asking why questions. And please keep in mind, those of you who are parents of boys, it often takes boys longer to process their emotions and put language to their emotions, which is why therapy tends to really not work for boys and why your son might take longer to come and talk to you about something that's bothering him, which is totally fine. That's a natural way his brain works. And finally, remember, we want to teach kids that all feelings are temporary and no negative feeling is going to last forever. And they've gotten through negative feelings before and they will get through this. Hope this is helpful. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.